What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We are always gaming and we're here with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077 and as you can hear there's currently a shootout going on. I have no idea where this is going on but uh, we're just going to go talk to Dexter Deshaun, the shady motherfucker. Yo Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die right old and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? Uh. It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Oh. Uh, Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned. But I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. Biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Uh, that's a death sentence, bruh. Uh, Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom Boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Uh, Maelstrom was the issue. Client, tell me about her. Um. Yeah. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I like the fact that they chose this to deal with him first, because we already know what happens with him. We know that he's a shady son of a bitch, so... Hello. Like... I, uh, don't have to guess too much with him. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip, and we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now. And I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. 
To add to this shipstream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Mm. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Well, all right. Uh, performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Cool. Um, Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. He's out, uh, out to work me over, wants to check us out. Check if we got what it takes. I mean, he's definitely outside. I'm gonna I say this just because I know. It to me, like, it feels more him. like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clapped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> she won. Uh, always know what drives their decisions. And frankly, the owners of the funds couldn't care less. So long as and there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Um... That we may never I see these infamous for his brutality, falling victim to crime is a common part of daily life for... Um, let's go with, uh, the client first. I gotta see her first. See what she's yeah. like, what she's after. But I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. My nose to the ground. Stick around. Let's turn away, go. Yeah, I figured I'd, I'd, I'd talk to the client first since talking to the military uh, aspect of it, the maelstrom, sound, seems risque. Alright, an illegal activity such as theft or attacking civilians will result in NCPD placing a bounty on you. The police will send a patrol to the crime scene, and the strength of their response will be proportional to the size of the bounty. To lose the police, move away from the crime scene, and lay low for a while. Did I just hit somebody? Alright, cool. Well, sure, let's move away from the crime scene and lay low for a while. Is this not laying low? I feel like this is laying low. I feel like I'm in a, I'm in a back alley right now. And, uh, not doing shit. Oh, yep, there we go. No more crime scene. I mean, no more police activity. All right. Funny how they got a, a star system, like, this is Grand Theft Auto. 
closed right now. Uh, between six and s uh, so it's three. Okay, so let's uh, do something else. Let's do. Let's do. We only have side jobs, right? There are no gigs. Um, let's do pickup. The pickup is Maelstrom. Yeah, call Melatech agent Meredith Stout. Me with Jackie. Um, I mean, you can do a side job. Uh, to pay your debt to Victor. I don't have that money. Collect your gun from Wilson. Sure, let's do that. Because that sounds like a good time. Come on, there we go. So I'm assuming, oh damn it. I'm assuming that Wilson's gonna be uh, if, if I'm correct, I think I met him before. I've seen him before from when I used to play through. So he's uh, he's gonna be the gun guy or one of the gun guys. There's multiple gun shops. Elevators take forever to get to where we're going. Yeah, so apparently I'm on uh, version 1.0.4 or some shit like that. Um, and they're releasing a new patch in a couple of days that's supposed to fix a lot of the bugs people are having in this game. Let's see what All you right. have. Let's see what you got. What I like to hear. Okay. Um, is it this one? Yeah, this is apparently it. You just received an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. Uh, you can use these craft uh, these to craft better quality versions of this item. When a new version of an iconic item is crafted, the original is destroyed. Iconic items can also be upgraded just like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves their levels and stats. Uh, ensuring they remain useful as you progress through the game. All right, cool. Did not know you could upgrade clothes. Guns is was like, all right, yeah, that's obvious, but clothes, that's a new one. Um, all right, so let's do the gig. What is that? Uh, wait for the lockdown to end. Uh, that sounds like something I can't do right now. Retrieve the ping quick hack from Netrunner. All right. It's funny how, like, the a number of side jobs you have in the beginning. I mean, I guess just like everything else in the game, in the beginning of these games is limited. But I'm trying to get a move on. I'm trying to do the damn thing, you know what I mean? Like we went underground there, but I guess not. That's what I'm saying. Elevators take forever. Anytime. Oh, am I supposed to like walk through it? So let's hop back in the car. Cool that you can call your car to you though. Very nice. We're getting closer, closer to that reality in our world with the Tesla. Damn, I did not mean to hit three people just now. But you know, whatever. 
I did like that sometimes. I got two stars. Yikes. Yeah, we'll get out of the car and lay low. Oh no. I got rid of the stars already. And just killed three more people. And got another star. Great. Damn it. Come on, come on. Oh, so many cops. Alright, got rid of the cops again. Hopefully I don't. <laughs> don't do it again. Yikes. Did not see that there. Well, we're pretty much here anyway. Oh, there's another gun shop here. Not that I have any money. Uh, I guess this is how you would get up to the second level. T-Buck sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Uh, got a Militech Paraline. I don't got a Militech Paraline. Think it'll do. No. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. You trying to play okay. me? Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Is it this she's talking about? No, it's. How much is this, though? 150? Points that are gathered uh, by data mine, demon, and breach protocol used to craft quick hacks. Okay. Uh, reveals enemies and devices connected to local networks. Cool. Um, I guess that's all we need. Um, how's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. Oh, interesting. So you can just Got buy over for sale. Quick hacks can't from her? Afford it. Yes. Hold on, what else she got? Uh, request backup. Okay, calls one enemy squad member. Reboot optics, ping, overheat, whistle. Target will move to your current location. Oh. Start separating them. Deafens the target, reducing their ability to detect enemy sound. Okay, cool. We'll definitely see her again at some point. Um, don't care about that. Um, all right, so we got one C, which is here, and then 55, which is not here. But I guess we can click any one of these and then click 55, right? No, okay. All right, don't know what I did wrong there, but anyways, we got to do this anyway. So we got character and not what I was looking for. Inventory? Yes, cyber deck. And then we have to equip the ping. Zipping, short circuit, reboot optics. Yeah, we'll keep the reboot optics. All right, cool. Can I try to jack in one more time? All right, all right, all right, all right. So, 1C, right? 55. Oh, I just did the same fucking thing like an idiot. Whatever, we'll do this later. On to the next mission. Uh, upload ping to the camera. Oh, hold on.
Oh, okay. Fine. We'll do it. We'll try one more time. Which I'm not understanding because it should just be 1C and 55, but whatever. So we have to start here, right? Then. I guess we come here, right? So we can pick 55, then 1C, and then 55. Nice. All right. Yeah, there we go. Cool beans. Is it six o'clock yet? No. So what else we got? Um, fuck it. Let's do the pickup. Oh no. Let's do the pickup, and let's um call Militech. Meredith. No, cause I want to meet. I want to meet this chick first. Uh, fuck it though. All right, whatever. I'm gonna call Militech. Uh, how we call Militech, I don't know. Dexter Deshaun. No, no, no. Mr. V, their problem. Damn, I didn't want to call this guy. Uh, this job's supposed to be the great return of Dexter Deshaun. Yeah, why not? Why not question this heist him? heralding in the triumphant return of Dex Deshaun to the fixers table. <laughs> Gotta admit. Few years from my seat has left me with a bit of an appetite. Keep on dropping in with a bang. Deshaun ain't just a name, it's a brain. About time my clientele remember who they do biz with. But you got my word. You don't disappoint, you'll get your cut. With interest. Didn't mean to do Let's that. Let's get back to work. Be in touch. Alright. Hold on, Let, before we do anything, let's try to call. Damn, I keep do, pressing the wrong direction. I'm bad. There we go, Meredith Stout. Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh uh, not on the horn. Let's meet, cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Oh, nice. Either I just so happen to be going the right way, or it rerouted me. Damn it. Come on. Song is fire. Whoa. What is happening? Alright, I'm just gonna get out here. Oh, because it's down there? Okay. That looks sketchy, but fine. Look lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Uh, yeah. Am I supposed to, like, oh. Shake hands. Uh, got a proposition for you. Got enough? Oh, shit. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker. Set conditions. Calm the fuck down. I just want to talk. Christ, Meredith. Shut your trap. That fucking thing ready? This is wild. All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Interesting. So what have what would have happened if we lied to her? Now listen, please. This place, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. 
Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up. Unhand me now before I... <sighs> yeah, before you do what, bro? You're not in the position to make demands. Want to hear what he has to say? Uh, if you want info, I want a bot. Let's make a deal. Couldn't. <laughs> Couldn't be chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. Random homeless guy just walking around you in the background. Like this is Flat normal. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter, but on one condition. You pay with our money. Uh, take credit trip, we got a deal. I mean, sure. That's solid enough. I'm in. Uh, some shards you find in the world will contain information hidden behind data encryption measures. To decrypt a shard, first either open it through the notification when you acquire it or find it later in the shards tab under journal on the main menu, then select crack security to unlock its secrets. Cool you pay beans. With that ship, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Well, all right. That was a pleasant conversation. You're making a mistake. The cubs are any good as dead. That guy's not gonna make I'll it. Take you down with her. All right. Uh, meet with Jackie now. Is it six o'clock yet, though? No. All right. So I guess I'll meet with Jackie. Look at that car. Is never far behind. Love it. Oh, I can't go this way? I'm gonna try. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna say that that works. Alright. Hiya, Porfin. Let me hear what you squared away. Uh, I've been waiting that long. What's the word on T bug? Nah. Dex already paid the maelstromers for the corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ejone. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Nah. <laughs> 10,000 will buy it off him. Uh, we'll pay again, but with Militech cred. Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Go to the gate of all foods. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Hold on one second. I just want to make sure, because I feel like... Without meeting the client, this is the cl the client of the whole damn thing. So I feel like we should meet her first before we actually do this mission. All right, Jackie. I know you're not happy about it. I'm gonna take your bike, Jackie. Okay, fair enough. I'm not gonna take your bike, but I am gonna take my own car. I keep freaking doing that. Come on, where you at? Is that my car? Where the hell is my car? Is it just down there and it's not gonna come up here? What an asshole. All right. Uh, later then. Yeah, I'll be back, Jackie. Don't worry about it. 
Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna go see Evelyn first. Can I call my car now? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna change this radio station though. I'm not digging it. Damn it. Like I said, driving not the easiest thing. Alright, so um let's go with that. Oh, they lived. Nice. Is it not six? All right, let's skip time. Cannot skip time right now. Great. That's fucking great. All right, well, let's see if there's anything else we can do. Um, the psycho killer thing that's <laughs> dangerous, very high. I don't think I'm ready for that. Um, the gig, all right, the lockdowns are not over, so I can't do that. All right, um, so well, first off, let's do this. Uh, we're gonna up body, should we up body? Um, uh, stealth, okay. Crafting and engineering, that could be, could, could come in handy. Assault, blades and handguns. Ugh. You know what, we're gonna go with body. We're gonna go with body because, um, I wanna win some of those fights. Why not? Um... Health slowly regenerates during combat. I mean, yeah. Definitely want that. Uh, increase max health. Increases carrying capacity. No, yeah. Hold on. What's this? Increases max stamina. Yeah, we'll do that for sure. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we're going to focus on body for a little bit. Um, I feel like I don't know what to do right now. We got, we got too much time. Um, let's. Fuck it, let's do the psycho killer. And if I die in the process, then maybe it'll give us enough time. Incapacitate psycho. Okay. Uh, find cyber psychos. I have to find them. Cool. All right, cool. So, are they gonna just show up on the Mizap? Oh, there's other stuff on the map. Um, assault in progress. We got fixer, a person who has their hands. They'll contact you. New gigs. I mean, that could be fun. Um, you know what? Yeah, that's uh. What is this side job? Side job. Uh, business one making headlines. Uh -huh. Alright, you know what? Yeah, let's let's go let's go do this assault in progress. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, how far is it? 350. Yeah, we'll we'll run there. Cause why not? Catch it, you know, soak in some of the city. The back alleys. And get some stuff. Also, yeah, I gotta find one of these uh, one of these stations where I can sell things because I got a couple things. Maybe I can get some money. Did someone just hurt me. The hell was that? All right, whatever. All 
supplies. Yeah, so hopefully this assault, uh, I said it was moderate, so I should be able to handle it. Um, well, what I am going to do, actually, is I'm going to equip some other weapons, like a double barrel shotgun. That'll be nice. And an assault rifle. Yeah. Yeah. That feels about right. This is what? The assault rifle. Alright. Ow. Why can't I move? Alright. Tiger claws. Is that like a gang or something? Here we go. Alright, come on, come on. Oh, shit! You just run up on me like that, bro. All right, hold up, hold up. There we go. That's what we needed. Oh my God, come on, come on. Damn, I'm too far with this. All right. Is he not in here? I thought he was in here. Oh, I see him. And there we go. Can I not take his... Okay, whatever. Take all, all his homie shit, though. Damn, is that, <laughs> so is this seven arm? Yeah, that shit happens a lot when uh when you have the katanas and stuff, just severed heads and arms and whatnot. Assign a grenade to combat gadgets. Uh, quick slot in your inventory so you can make easy use of them during combat. I will do that. Thank you. I will definitely do that. Um. Yeah, so they have like a basic, uh, as far as items go, they have a basic like uh, tier system for them. You got common, uncommon, rare, epic, and then legendary items. Um, which the goal is to get a legendary, well, get legendary everything. Um, but get a legendary katana, that's what I really want. At least right now. All right. Um, we're gonna take one of these. Read message. How do we read? Um, oh, that's for the shard. Yeah, we'll do that later. Wait, hold up. I feel like I'm just leaving stuff on, leaving money on the table if I don't take the stuff. All right. Boom. Alright, six o'clock? Almost. Yeah, by the time we get back there, it should be six. Um, let's actually put that that uh, mission on, though. The informant. There we go. The park up the parks and shit. Set my mind on the Damn. Well, all right. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I didn't mean it, cops. I didn't mean it. Just leave me alone.
funny how my car is like all almost it has to be following me that's what it is that's what it is it has to have a tracker on me it has to be following me just, uh, like staying close by just in case i ever call it or oh, that's just me trying to make sense of game logic you know all right that's right here right so i keep running people over all right Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Um, sure. sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun in fun. Well, all right. What a sweet little face you have. Yeah, sweet little face I have. Get you something. Um, nah, Looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Your mom. Uh, names be a big tipper. <laughs> nah, I don't got money like that. Names V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn. Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Just waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Tequila. Um. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. Uh, why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on, no place we can talk where ears won't prick I up. I mean, to I'm listen. guessing it was. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So, nothing's what wrong. Can a really? Like me? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. I thought it was curious too, Evelyn. Shit, buzz decks right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. 
used car salesman. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for now. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Um... You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Oh, let's see what's up your sleeve. Yorinobu's got an army around him, I bet. Seriously, he's my target? Yorinobu Arasaka? Uh, so he's a big deal, I guess. I'm waiting. A top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Mm. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Um, Netwatch. That's something that doesn't add up, so what's your related? Um, I mean, fine. Yeah. So, no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Yori Arasaka, what else do you What have? else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path. And so has his own designs on the corp. Hmm. Maybe you just got taste of power, risky move with a biochip. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. One more yeah, thing. What's on this Data relic? Data that's on the chip. 
What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. Hmm. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, mm -hmm. jacking off to yeah, those boxes. Like else? No. I, it can be a very know. useful tool. Good for oh analyzing details. Oh, shit, you see her legs. Even boosted. It's crazy. A grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Uh, no, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. I should have said the other thing. Judy will help. She's a monster. Just to see what too. she said. Besides, we go back uh, years. V, uh -huh. this is important. Judy's always been there for me. I always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So. You'll be a good boy, trip like me, and keep that to tongue on a week, leash. Sure, okay? Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> Talk to Judy. Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about a V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Yeah, uh, I think I can. No, never. What's so raw about it? How's this differ from the ready mates? Huh. Ready mates, provided they're well made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre crafted, hard coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. All right, guys, we're going to end it here. Next time, uh, on the next episode, we'll hit the brain dance and see what's going on with that but until then thank you for watching drop a like on the video if you liked it dislike it if not subscribe to the channel for more cyberpunk 2077 i'll catch you guys in the next video later